Hello. How are you? Okay, I'm continuing right along. The new all in the family. I'm going live on Instagram, but I'm just going to upload it to Facebook because my computer won't allow me access. I just want to get the videos up there. I like going live, but I'd rather have it. Uh, I just want to get them up because there's so much to do. Okay, so we are 10 episodes behind, but that's okay. What we're up to now is the new All in the Family, episode 6, scene 5. In this episode, Mike homeschools Josh. It isn't going well at first, but they manage to communicate and bond. Mike conversationally giving Josh a lesson about life. Somewhat piling it on, but not completely getting through, at least on the surface. And the background to this is that Josh got punished because he hacked into his school records and altered them, and also because he was able to hack into his father's account and steal $10,000 to send to a girl in the Ukraine that he was having a relationship with online. So that's why uh, Mike, who is Josh's grandfather, is now homeschooling him because he's been suspended from school and grounded at home. And now without further ado, let's begin the episode. Internal, Joey's dining room table, day. Mike is homeschooling Josh. Mike, you seem very tired. Josh, who does seem tired, looks at him with a look of displeasure. Mike. Are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Josh, defensive. Yeah, I'm getting enough sleep. Mike. Look, I'm not here as your enemy. You're going through some really stress you're going through something really stressful. I'd be exhausted too. Josh. I'm not exhausted. I'm fine. Mike. Stress is one of the greatest precipitants of fatigue. You have to be fit tired. Josh. Can we get on with the lesson? Mike. Okay, okay. Mike ruffles through some paper. He looks frustrated and a little disorganized, <coughs> scrambling to get something together. Finally, Mike with a stressful exhale. Okay, we got a lot to cover. Let's start with the homework. Show me what you got. He looks up and out at Josh. Josh smirks, embarrassed. Josh smiling uncontrollably. Oops. Mike. Come on, Josh. You don't really think you're going to just get by doing whatever you want. Josh. It worked up till now. Mike. Getting interested. Oh, yeah? This is how it worked? You're locked in your room. Can't talk to anyone. Cut off from the world. Tell me how this is working. Josh, grinning. That's right. That's why I can't do homework. I have no computer. Mike. Well, we're going to solve that problem. How do you think I got to be a university professor? Josh. Well, you just got a knack for that teaching stuff. Just like I got a knack for tech stuff. Mike. Okay, wait a minute. Let's back up here. I didn't just have a knack. I studied real hard to get where I am. Josh. Well, that's great. And I computed enough to get where I am. Mike. You think it's just like that? You can get away with whatever you want because you're smart enough to, to manipulate your way out of trouble. That's what you told me yesterday. It's better to do something you can get away with than do the right thing. Josh. Well, that makes sense. Mike. And here you are in big trouble, isolated from the world, unable to do anything fun or enjoyable. You still want to go with that? Josh is stymied. Mike. I partly don't blame you. Josh. Huh? Mike, when you see that twisted behavior w rewarded in the media, it encourages you that it's all right. But it's not all right. Take the president. I mean, who else made billions despite four bankruptcies, becoming a major TV star, and now became president with a 91% approval rating from his own political party, despite constantly doing and saying the most horrible things, hurting so many others, and putting this country's security and democracy at great peril just because he could get ahead? That's where you're getting your bad ideas from. But don't think it will work for you. You ain't got no connections. Josh, ain't? Mike stopped a little. 
Josh. In the end, with most people, wrong just doesn't pay. And he'll get his sooner or later. It's not going to end well for him no matter what he pulls between now and then. And then all the things he accomplished getting over on people will mean nothing. And that's what's going to happen to you too, Josh. You're very lucky you didn't get thrown in jail because you're a child. But as an adult, you won't be so lucky. If you want to truly succeed in life, there are rules you have to follow. We've lived with them for hundreds of years, so you're better off knowing them and respecting them. Because there are always consequences for those who think they know better. And you're about to see how right I am when this president meets his fateful demise like a Shakespearean king. Josh, grinning with a chuckle. My dad will throw a scene if he heard you. Oh, end of, I guess that's the end. I know that scene was a lot longer, but all right. Okay, everybody, thank you. Bye. End. Okay.